Hello and welcome to Spatula Bachelor and this week I'm feeling kinda shitty. But thankfully I filmed the rest of this episode a week ago, so I'll be fine. Uh, today we'll be making some fried pickles, jalapenos, and shrimp in a nice tasty jalapeno oh, and cucumber green sauce. It's gonna be great. And let's get cooking. First Cut up your cucumbers, cut off the ends, then cut in half, and cut into medium slices. Once your cucumbers are cut, put them into the blender with some salt, pepper, two cloves of garlic, and about a quarter cup of oil. Once you blend it, if it doesn't seem creamy or smooth enough, you can add more oil. Once your cucumber is as smooth as you'd like, move over and cut up your cilantro into fine bits, leaving no full or half leaves. Now that your cilantro is cut up, add it to the blender and let it mix for at least 20 seconds. This is a good place to stop and taste your sauce, checking if you like the levels of all the flavors we added in so far. Next, we're going to be adding the jalapenos, so you want to check for spiciness rather than the salty or herby flavors that we've added in so far. Next, we're going to add in the jalapeno. I usually use about half of a fall jalapeno sliced with the seeds still in. You can add however much you want for spiciness, but I would suggest just using the jalapeno because I think the flavor works very well for the particular sauce we're making. Quick pause for a quick tip. This is another great place to taste your sauce and see if you'd like to add anything. Remember that if you've made it a little bit too spicy for yourself, you're about to add in a lot of sour cream so that spiciness will mellow out. Likewise, if you like something very spicy, you might want to make it a little bit stronger than you can handle so that when it mellows out with the sour cream, it goes to a level that you like. Pause out. Now you're going to want to add in the sour cream. This time I added about three big dollops. I'm never sure how much I want to add every time I make this, so the best advice I can give is to try and match the color of what I'm going to show you in a little bit. It's sort of a seafoam green surrounding the darker bits of the other ingredients which are still in there. Try and match that or just match to your own taste. Hmm. Tastes good. Once the sauce is up to with the flavor and consistency you like, just pour it out of the blender into a container or use it right away. This sauce is great for putting on meats, chips, anything fried. And it's great on tacos and dipping quesadillas in. You know, just use your imagination. That's it for part one. I'm still feeling shitty, so part two will be up in a day or so. See you then.